Hey everybody, this is Michael Marston again, and I'm going to talk real quick about how, uh, well, one of the more powerful features about Unity Intercom is its ability to not only work on Wi-Fi locally there in a television studio or something, but also extend, you know, anywhere in the world over cellular data or some other Wi-Fi, you know, at Starbucks or something like that. So the way you would do that, and I'm not a super techie person, but is this is basically how you do this. Um, you've got to allow people to type in your IP address into the direct field when they log into uh, Unity Intercom. They're going to have to type in your IP address, your global IP address. Uh, I know, I, I don't like all that. Here's how you do this. Um, you just need to set up two rules. So on port 20101, for what they call TCP traffic and UDP traffic. You simply have to take uh, data that's coming in from outside the network and it hits port 20101 and you have to set up two rules for UDP and TCP and forward that traffic from your router to the local IP address of the Mac computer. So once again, this is probably really simple for IT people. Um, all you're doing is going into the settings of the router and you're saying whenever somebody tries to hit Unity Intercom from outside our building, our network, and they're on port 20101, um, forward all UDP and TCP traffic um, to my Mac computer's local IP address, which is hopefully a fixed IP address. Um, if not a fixed IP address, do what is called a DHCP reservation. If you do regular DHCP, your when you reboot your Mac computer, that, that address could change, and then your forwarding rules are going to break. That sounds super complicated, but basically, you're going to go into the router. You're just going to create two little rules that say, outside uh, data when hitting port 20101, send it to this Mac computer. Once you've done that, all you know anybody can access your Unity Intercom as long as they have a valid uh, username and password. And so this makes it super powerful. This is how t television stations all over the country, all over the world, are able to be in contact with all of the camera crews and reporters, and you know bring them right back into the studio. So the director on RTS is able to talk to everybody. This is how the television show Live a and uh, Live PD is able to have camera crews in different states, but be back in the headquarters in New York City and communicate to all of these people. They're, you know, they've set it up in their routers to allow outside access. So people, you know, from other parts of the world coming in, that traffic on 20101 gets to the Mac computer there. It's locally in the building that's uh, hosting Unity Intercom. It's not bad um, for, for, I recommend this for everybody, is especially like even churches that are using Unity right now. I would recommend looking into setting it up so that you can use uh, cellular data or outside Wi-Fi as well. You may have security teams that are in the parking lot you may have um, other, you know, other, uh, other locations. Um, this is going to allow people to all be on calm, and it's going to make it a lot more powerful. Especially if you were to, if if you were in a spot in the church, or in any other building that had bad Wi-Fi, you would lose that Wi-Fi connection, and you might get a connection lost for a second. But you'd switch over to cellular data, and you'd be right back on calm. So that's 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 what makes Unity really powerful. Um, I think everybody should utilize this, you know, if they want to and if they, if they can.